Speaking of selling merch, um, what's your stance on the on the whole Colin Kaepernick issue and players <laughs> and players kneeling? That's uh, that's a good segue. Speaking of selling merch, uh... yeah. Well, look, you know, Kaepernick's jersey ended up going number one after that. So I, you know, he was did it really? It did yeah. Um, so wow. he he sold you know more jerseys than anyone, and then got you know essentially blacklisted after that. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I. I, uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. I think he should be on the team. He, there's so, there's such less talent out there that's in the league. Um, I, I mean, uh, again, he he's been he's proven himself as a player. He's proven himself as a team leader. Uh, whether you like what he's leading about or not, he's got the entire league following him. Uh, of the majority of your players. Yeah, you know, and because uh, 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 it's not what it used to be, uh, you know, you good old boy dumbasses. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, if you haven't woke up yet, what bought your new jet, your new yacht was uh, all these guys with that uh, dark skin, and uh, they're trying to say something here. And you need to listen, and you know, it's it's not easy, I guess, as a you know, for these old white guys uh, with all this money. You know, that was handed down to them from their daddies, uh, you know, majority of them uh, or their in-laws or, you know, whoever got them, you know, that start to becoming a billionaire, um, you know, because it didn't happen for these guys from the ground up like Mark Cuban or, you know, sure. whatever. Every one of these guys, uh, for the most part, has been uh, gifted their opportunity and just rode this 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 train here this this magic train this magic carpet ride in the nfl in this game you know and it's about this game um and not about that but you know fortunately uh you know these owners man i don't get it you know they're a bunch of pussies they don't they don't want to stand up for the things that are most important for the game they they care more about ratings and their money and you know <clears throat> this is their this is that I mean, because they got industry, they got big industry, they're making billions. Uh, this is their, you know, screw off money, you know, for their jets and their planes and their boats. And, you know, you go to an owner's meeting and go to the private airport at the owner's meeting. It's 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 gross. It's sickening. You know, the the waste and, and all the money and everything. And these guys, you know, want to sit there and play politics with a guy like Colin Kaepernick, um, who has achieved this greatness to play this game and is an unbelievable player and can help your team win. And, you know, you're not you're not willing to listen. That's just uh, uh, and, and, and just pass that off and go, you know what, man, we're going to support these guys. And 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 this guy deserves a job. You know, I mean, one sure. of these owners out there could do that and not one of them is doing it. And it's got to be uh, from behind closed doors at these meetings where they've all agreed to 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 not do it. Yeah, my, my look, my biggest issue with it as a fan is there is enough politics jammed in my face all day long, six days out of the week that on Sundays, me personally, I, I want to go to the game for entertainment reasons and not think about anything politically. Um and also think about it from the stance of uh, j just in my, my line of work in, in production. You know, if somebody did something on the job like that, that, that would affect investors or money or, or anything else, you know, regarding movies in, that, in this situation, I would be like, hey, man, I think there might be a better way. Like for me personally, I think if, if the league really wanted Co Colin Kaepernick in, instead of protesting, maybe just take a Sunday off and go up to the White House. I think Trump would open the door for for the NFL players and talk to him. And uh, I think if you sat out an, an entire Sunday and did that, um, it, you would have a, a bigger effect than m maybe doing it for two years on the sidelines. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm I'm a bit more. I mean, I grew up in the locker room, man, and so you know, I don't, I don't. I grew up a uh, son of a truck driver, five kids, so I don't understand this white privilege thing to the extent of maybe it's got me out of a few parking tickets and, you know, looked, uh, looked over and getting pulled over maybe in certain situations. But, you know, overall, uh, I, I mean, I've seen athlete privilege more so um, and who I am as an athlete. Sure. Uh, uh, but I get it. I get the I get what they're saying. I get what they're talking about. I get that there is race issues and to just kind of not get that. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how you don't get that. I don't understand how you don't understand why they're kneeling. 
I don't understand how. I I, and I, I, I guess again, that's me because I grew like, up in the locker room. These are my brothers. Yeah, these are, yeah. These I, are people that you know. We don't need to take a day to go up to the, see that dumbass and his you know orange face. We need right. to support our guys and give him the finger and not allow Mike Pence to come into an NFL game and turn his fucking back on it and walk out like a bitch. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, I'm so upset about this stuff. I get I get pretty emotional about it. No, it's fine. Because these I, guys are just playing politics with this game. And this game is America. And they can go fuck off. And it was built on the backs of uh, these players. And they got something to say. And it goes d- deeper into our society and what people need to realize. This isn't a black issue. This is a police issue, a brutality issue. Um, and what's going on here? You know, we're... We're, we, we got a kid we're stringing up now in the media because he made a phone call to, you know, prank somebody and they went to that guy's house and they shot and killed him. Like, wh- what the fuck's going on at the police department where we, we know whether or not we need to use that force? I mean, my, my dad is a, a, a retired police chief and uh, he busted his ass and he worked real hard and he retired, uh, you know, being disgruntled because of what he saw uh in that these cops aren't willing to go talk to these motherfuckers they just want to shoot their guns right you know my dad will show up at the drug dealer's house and knock on his fucking door and say listen we got to work this out you know right and and in situations where there's you know all this stuff and and we're just we're just so quick to pull the trigger and just say you get in line get in line like we're we're becoming a, a very fascist country and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of truth to that. You know, we, we, we want to wave this, uh, this flag around and these colors around. Um, well, there's a lot of people that are doing that um, and, and getting too proud about it, too proud. You know, you, th- this is, this is yours. I got it tattooed on my arm. I, I put it in blood and, and it means a lot to me. Uh, you know, the sacrifices that have been made and all that, but we're not honoring those sacrifices when we don't honor the right of a player to express a, a social injustice uh, reality that's going on by taking a knee at a game and using that platform to do so. You know, uh, on the other hand, our government is taking full advantage of using that platform uh, to promote the military and, uh, uh, you know, uh, wars and, and all these things uh, and, and generating this, this uh, energy to go and support uh this desire i mean you talk to people and they go uh when we're at war and they go oh we love george bush or we love bill clinton or whoever it is democrat or republican but we're in a war he took us to war like when are we going to get over this you know i i don't understand this whole mindset of of needing to war whether it's uh you know because you don't want to listen to what some people have to say because you don't look like them and you didn't live their life, and you don't understand what they're talking about, um, you know, to dropping bombs and, you know, all this ridiculous rhetoric going on about, you know, nuclear buttons that uh, at the end of the day, uh, we've had examples of in our history that cost millions of innocent lives. Sure, sure, absolutely. Um, and look, it's, it's, a, it's a strange political climate we're in, um, especially with everything that's going on in the world. There's protests in Iran right now. Uh, there's, when is there not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, you know, we, again, we got to get over this shit, man. We got to get over it. We got to take pride in our country, take pride in our differences, take pride in, in what everybody's got to say and, and get over it, man, you know, and try to fix the things that we know are, are, are there, you know, we, all these people just continuing to ignore uh, because it's not at their front door. Right. Right. Well, I, look, I, I think uh, the NFL thing, uh, as far as the kneeling goes, is, de- is definitely now at people's front doors and people are making a decision one way or the other, how they feel about it. And uh, yeah, I, but it stops right at the flagpole. Yeah. That's where it stops. You know, it's whether you're flying a flag or not. And that's where it is. It's this flag, this flag, this flag. You know, this flag, well, guess what? This flag originally was made on hemp, and uh, our forefathers told us that we needed to grow that everywhere, and this government's taken that away from us, and it's given us a bunch of pills and killed millions of Americans. We've got uh, uh, a president who supports guys like Richard Spencer, a fucking Nazi, you know? I mean, 
this is and all these guys with their tiki torches out there and saying there's good people on both sides. Yeah, there's something going on, you know, and, they, and there's support on that on both aisles. It's not it's not just uh, our president. Oh, he, sure, he, he, sure. He's the he's the line. He, he's been a Democrat. He's been a Republican. He speaks for all of them. I've been to D.C. and I've seen what's going on. And I lobby for cannabis and what it can do to help save people and what it's done for me to save my life. And these people still look at this and look at me and go, you know, and talk to me as if they know what they're talking about, what they're for. Oh, well, we're from we're for Charlotte's Web, and we're like, oh, really? You're for Charlotte's Web, the thing you saw on CNN. Like, you, you're, <laughs> you're not for what is curing seizures in little children, what has saved my life in this THC factor of finding strains and all these things. You know, from that to uh, Colin Kaepernick to kneeling to the issues we're having. Uh, in our streets and around the world, it, it's just this constant battle of knowledge versus ignorance. And unfortunately, it's it seems to be that this ignorance is, you know, I mean, I've been to D.C., like I said, man, it, it is ego driven. And they, you only need a few votes to get these positions of power. Uh, and obviously, you can become the president without them, uh, you, you know, or you only need those few that he got. You yeah. Know? And, uh, I'm not I'm not for Hillary Clinton by any means or one side or the other. I think it's all a facade myself. And I I live my life by the the words of our, you know, our great first president who didn't want to be president, who said this country didn't need a president. This country needed to be free. <laughs> God damn it. I love it. This is a, this is a freedom flowing out of your veins right now. Uh, let, yeah, let me, man, let... I was born and raised to it. Man. My dad is, again, a truck driver and a farmer. Uh, I accomplished greatness. Uh, I understand hard work and my family's helped, you know, uh, pave the way for this country. I grew up Mormon. My whole family goes back. My great, great, great grandfather was a bodyguard to Joseph Smith, got killed because of it. Um, you know, uh, paved the way to the West with the rest of my relatives names that are on all these placards and all these Mormon battalion places in Arizona and California. And I, I just have an unbelievable pride for this country. And unfortunately, you know, I'm just an athlete and, you know, uh, my words will get lost after we talk about the helmet again. <laughs> <laughs>